today that you are in the presence of God, every expectation of your heart, none of them shall be cut short in the name of Jesus. And today I know that God is prepared with our blessings and our miracles. And every blessing that is made for you, come rain or shine, can never ever pass you by in Jesus' name. Can I hear better? Amen. I want to let you know that in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. In the presence of God, there is blessings. In the presence of God, all that you are expecting from God will definitely enter into your hands. And I see today, I hear you testifying because God is going to do what he alone is capable of doing. You see, a songwriter that wrote a song that he said, only God can do what no man can do. As long as you are connected on this very channel, or you are right here in the church, hearing the sound of my voice, God has chosen you as a candidate of blessing. And none of your blessings are going to pass you by. The light will shine on your way, and darkness will disappear in the name of Jesus. I say darkness will disappear in the name of Jesus. And every proposal that heaven has proposed for the people this morning, you are part or parcel of that proposal in Jesus' name. I, can I hear better amen there? I wanted to shout a louder amen. You are part and parcel of every proposal. Today, I would like to speak on the victory won for us. You know, we are in the season of also remembering that our Lord Jesus Christ has resurrected from the dead. Praise God. Jesus did not just die. Jesus came to give us victory. And the victory he gave to us is what we are celebrating today as the body of Christ. Every child of God is a, celebra a, a, a celebrity because of what Jesus has done for us. It's not only we that Jesus died for. Jesus died for millions of people, thousands of people, and the billions of people. He died for the whole world. But it is only the few people that have accepted what he has done for us on the cross of Calvary has every right to celebrate our freedom, our victory, our blessing, and our deliverance. So today, we are coming to once again remind ourselves what Jesus has done for us. Number one, Jesus has given us what is called the grace that we are saved. He has saved us from destruction. Jesus has saved us from destruction. Before Jesus came, there is this hanging guilt upon our lives. The hanging guilt is that every soul that sinned must die. Whether you like it or not, Adam and Eve has a, a, a kind of a committed what takes to destroy the whole world. That's why the Bible says, in Adam, all men die. In Adam, whether you are alive or you are dead already or you are still walking on the sick or bed or whatever you may call yourself, the Bible says all have died because of Adam. But once again, Jesus, the second man, came and become the reason why we all are once again accepted back into the kingdom of God. So through Jesus, we all live. The victory is that we are alive because Jesus paid the price for every one of us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You see, when I look at people of God, I see a lot of believers condemning themselves or trying to, you know, have a lot of guilt in their heart. Oh, this thing I did so, so years ago. This thing that happened last year. This one that happened, that happened the other time and this and that. They have already laid to themselves condemnation. But the Bible says Jesus did not come to condemn the world, but by through him that we all might be saved. So the victory he has gotten to us is that we are victorious over the spirit of death. We are not people to die, but people to live. And therefore, I declare on every one of us here that we are people to live in the name of Jesus. You are people to live in the name of Jesus. Let's see the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. We are going to read verse number 57. 1 Corinthians 15, verse number 57. He says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, 
be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Praise God. Thanks be to God Almighty, which has given us victory. The victory here is that God Almighty has saved us from condemnation. Has saved us from destruction. Has saved us from death. Has saved us from guilt. Has saved us from every satanic orchestration. Jesus' death on the cross of Calvary has saved us from family idols. Family condemnation. Altars, demonic altars. There are altars that has been uttered against your life, against your destiny. All those altars, thanks be to God, for Jesus has gotten us victory over all that. Before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, I want to let you know this. Sometimes people think it is 2,000 years ago that Jesus came. Jesus comes on daily basis. The Bible said that Jesus is standing at the door of your heart, knocking the door. If any man will open the door, Jesus will come in and dine with the person and live with the person. So, Jesus is still coming to as many that are ready to open up their heart and accept Jesus. And so, he is knocking at their door for them to open the door so that this victory that he has gotten to us can be to us. Now, I want to tell you, before the forefathers or our fathers uh, in this part of the world started accepting Christ in their life and in their families, they have had what is called idol worship. And that idol worship and all kinds of traditions of men has also brought what is called condemnation. There are a lot of families that are uh, uh, somehow covenanted to idols, that there is something or the other, one thing or the other, that the family always suffers. And whether the people like it or not, even in this generation, some of those families are still suffering these things. But the coming of Jesus to as many that has opened their heart, because this is all about your heart. This is all about, are you ready to open up for him? This is all about, are you ready for him to come in? He said, I stand at the door of your heart and I'm knocking. If any man shall open his heart, he said, I will come in and I will dine with the person. And that same thing that he will do is what will make you to get out of condemnation. That is what will make you to come out of whatever the enemy have used to manipulate you. That is what will make you to be free from the rot that is ahead. Because we are in a world that is full of rot. That is full of woes. That the Bible says, woe unto the earth. For the enemy, the accuser of the brethren, the destroyer of the people, has been released to the world. The devil did not come to the world to play games. He came to the world to destroy. The Bible says that the Satan came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The stealing does not matter anyhow he will do to steal. So the devil can use every means, every method, whatever strategy he likes to use to operate. The operation of the enemy is to destroy. Is to steal, destroy, and to kill. But thanks be to our God who has given us this great victory. And I pray for every one of you that is hearing the sound of my voice. The victory that Jesus has given to us will last in your life in the name of Jesus. Now, we are going to look at the book of Romans. What begins to happen as a child of God. Romans chapter 8. Look at verse 1. Look at verse 1. What Jesus has done and what position we are taken into. Because I want you to be conversant with this. When you are conversant with this, you will never be put to shame. When you are conversant with this, you will never be disgraced. When you are conversant with this, you will never run helter skelter. You will not be afraid of what the devil is doing. You will know that Jesus has gotten you this victory and the victory will remain forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at Romans chapter 8. Let's take the reading from verse 1. The reading from verse 1. What did he say? What did he say? Are you with your Bible? Please open your Bible wherever you are. We are studying this so that you can equip yourself because God wants us to be better equipped so that our victory will always remain with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your victory remain with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus 
who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of shame and death what is the Bible saying here the scripture is telling us that it's a law that has been governing the world and that law is the law of destruction that law is the law of sicknesses and diseases that law is the law that make people to cry that make people to weep that make people to run helter skelter but the grace the love the power the authority and what jesus has given to us has gotten us a position with our god and this position is what you have don't let anybody deceive you don't let anybody confuse you don't let anybody push you here and there don't let anybody tell you fibers or bring different kind of story to tell you, oh, do you know, you, you know, as I cry, Jesus, you are this and that and that. No condemnation on your head anymore. Praise God. I said no condemnation on your head anymore. There is no condemnation on your head anymore. Because you have accepted Jesus in your life. Praise the Lord. And then what you begin to do now is to what? To go spiritual. On the 31st night on this altar, I told the whole world, I said, it is time for people to go spiritual. Because we are in a year called 2021, it's going to be a year of good and bad. And if you look at the whole world today, you see a lot of things happening. And so we need to be very spiritual. How are we going to be spiritual? We will be spiritual by our confessions, by our movement, our way of communicating with God, our relationship with God. We must not joke with the things of the Spirit. We must always be stay connected. And when you are connected in your weakness, God will give you strength. In whatever you cannot do, God will make you to succeed in that. In the name of Jesus. Any area they think you will fail, you will never fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the position you have as a child of God and the victory that Jesus has gotten for you and I is a position of going forward and never going backward. Praise the Lord. We are in a time that people must learn how to positively confess things you want God to do in your life. It is not time to begin to shy away from your position. Don't shy away from your position. The greatest people on the planet Earth are the believers. The most powerful people on the planet Earth are the children of God. But the Bible said the children of God doesn't know that they are God's. And when you don't know that you are God, the devil rules you. Enemy manipulates you. They can subject you to begin to cry guilt every day. They can make you to think, oh, all hope is God. They can even put fear in you. But if you know the position we got in Christ Jesus, you will know that you are standing on the path of total victory. And when the enemy is playing games, you will not even mind what the devil is doing. Because the devil can use anything available to make you believe that God is no more with you or God is not interested in your life. The enemy can go as far as intimidating you in your dreams. He can go as far as telling you lies. He can go as far as blackmail and whatever he can use to make you believe that this position that Jesus has gotten is none and void. But I want to let you know the position we have in Christ Jesus is the greatest position. The position of sitting at the right hand of God. The Bible says we are seated with Christ far above principalities and powers hallelujah somebody i said hallelujah you are seated with christ far above principalities and what and powers what is the work of principality what is the work of powers powers are the forces that are tormenting the world principalities are the agents of torment they are the spirit that have been projected in form of demons they are projected to make people feel guilt and make people be disappointed and make people cry in here and there. But as far as God is concerned, there is no power, there is no spirit, there is no demon that can put you down. I said no power can put you down. No demon can put you down. That's why the Bible says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus, Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. In other words, Jesus became sin that we may become 
holiness. Jesus became unrighteous that we may become, we all may become righteous. Jesus died that we all may live. Jesus used his blood to pay the price that our blood will no longer be required. Praise the Lord. I say praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So what Jesus has done for you and I is something that nobody can substitute it. And there's nothing the devil can do to substitute what Jesus has done. And when you know that Jesus has gotten you this level and this victory, all you will do is to be happy. Amen. All you will do is to be what? You have to be happy. Tell your neighbor, be happy. Say, be happy. Say, be happy. Hallelujah. Say, be happy. Now listen. The Bible says in the story here, it says, For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Our life and our walking and our movement and whatever we do is after the spirit. Because the spiritual will always control the physical. Can you clap your hand for Jesus? So, from now on, never you see yourself as a loser. Never you see yourself as a failure. Never you see yourself as somebody that is condemned, somebody that has no hope. You have hope in the name of Jesus. I say you have hope in the name of Jesus. I say you have hope in the name of Jesus. And then the Bible began to explain many things even in the book of Romans. He started telling us all the things that we possess. He led us to understand that we are people that God has already known. It made us to understand that we have a position with our God. In your marriage, you have a position with God. In your family, you have a position with God. In the world, you have a position with God. And anywhere you are, that position you have with God will stand to speak for you. I'm not hearing a better amen there. I said that position will speak for you. Spiritually and physically, that position will speak for you. And that is what will give you the absolute victory in every ramification. Receive victory. Your amen is small. Receive victory. Receive power. Receive grace. Receive anointing. Receive next level. Receive authority. Receive all that it takes to succeed, to conquer, to overcome, to stay on the top. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And then in the book of the same where we read Romans 8, look at verse 37. It says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. What makes us this position of victory? What brought us to this level we are is because God has loved us with all his heart. He said, I love you. Because of love, Jesus left heaven and came. Praise God. It was because of love that Jesus forsook everything and followed us. And the Bible says he left all the glory in the heavens. He left all the things in the heavens. He left every position that he occupied in the heavens. And he came because of you. And then after Jesus had died and paid the price. And because of you went straight to hell to deal with the devil. Who can go to hell and come back? Nobody. But Jesus went in there for a purpose. Amen. The purpose is that you will never be in bondage again. The purpose is that you will never be chained anymore. The purpose is that you will be free all the time. Oh my God, I'm not hearing better. Amen. The purpose is that you are free indeed. And the Bible says, Whosoever the Son of Man shall set free shall be free indeed. You are free. I said you are free. You are free from sickness. You are free from pains. You are free from agony. You are free from crying. You are free from poverty. And you are moving forward ever and backward never. I said a better amen there. Hallelujah. This is why a songwriter wrote a song and he said, I will never be a slave again. For Jesus has made me to be free. A guy in my book will rustle. Jesus in my womb, come for no room. 
Jesus say me wo kampo no no Agai ma bu ko rozo Agai ma bu ko rozo Agai ma bu ko rozo Jesus say me wo kampo no no Agai ma gai mo Agai ma bu ko rozo Jesus say me wo kampo no no Agai ma gai mo Agai ma bu ko rozo he said you will never be a slave again for Jesus has set us free Jesus I will never be a slave again, for Jesus has set me free. Amen. I will never, never be a slave again. I will never, never be a slave again. I will never, never be a slave again. Jesus has made me to be free. Never, never. I will never, never be a slave again. Jesus has made me Never, I'll never, never be a slave today. Oh, Jesus, I'm ready to be free. Yeah. I can't give my book for us all. I can't give my book for us all. Jesus, I may walk. Kaponoro, agai ma gai mo, agai ma bukoroso. Jesus in me wo, kaponoro, agai ma gai mo, agai ma bukoroso. Ese bufe me wo, kaponoro, agai ma gai mo, agai ma bukoroso. Jesus in me wo, kaponoro. Yeah, I never be a slave again. I will never, never be a slave again. Jesus has made me to be free. I will never, never be a slave again. Jesus has made me to be free. Never, never. I will never, never be a slave again. Jesus has made me to be free. Never, never. I will never, never be a slave again. Jesus has made me to be free. shall come in like a flood. The Bible says God will raise a standard in your life. Amen. Amen. Do you know why God called him the enemy? He called him the enemy because you are no more under his bondage. Praise God. You are no more under the bondage of the enemy. So the enemy will come in like a flood and God will say no, this one does not belong to you. And the spirit of God will enter into your life and elevate you. I see you higher, higher. I said, I see you higher, higher. 
I see you victorious over all the enemies in your life. If they like, let them use everything around you. They will never get you. I said they will never get you. The more they try you, the more you go higher, higher. Hey, somebody's not saying them in there. The more the enemy try, the more you go higher, higher. And therefore, you must not allow your condition, your situation, whatever you are passing through, whatever is happening to you, whatever you are seeing today, what you saw yesterday, you must not allow any of them to bring you down. Amen? You must not allow whatever is happening in your spirit or in your body or around you to bring you down. Stay focused and keep moving because as you keep moving, you will surely overcome all the menace of the enemy. You will surely overcome all the menace. You will surely overcome all the menace. In the name of Jesus, stay focused and keep moving. Tell your neighbor, keep moving. Oh my God, they are not talking. I said, tell your neighbor, keep moving. You are a child of God. Say it to the person, you are. Say you are a child of God. Jesus has gotten victory for you. So, possess your victory and move on. Say to the person, oh my God. Say to the person by your side. Possess your victory. Possess your victory. And move on with your life. Amen. You know, what the devil wants to do is to cage you. And then when you are caged, you are totally weak. When you are weak and you are inside cage, you are limited. You cannot raise your hand. Not a talk about open your mouth. Praise God. But the cage has been destroyed. The grave has been broken. The stone that covered the grave has been removed. And our Jesus, our Lord, is no more in the grave. You are not shouting amen there. You better shout a better amen. Jesus is not in the grave. He has gone to the grave and finished the work. Amen. That is why the kind of miracle happening here will shock people. Amen. It will shock people. I am not, I am not in the ministry of making mouth. My own is face to face. Action that speaks louder than voice. Can you clap that hand for Jesus? I know the position I occupy with Christ. The only problem is people who don't know their position. Amen? Amen? I tell somebody, I say, I know the position I have occupied in Christ. And my position is no more a position of an outsider. I am no more an alien. I am no more a forgotten or a forsaken. I am now a son in Christ. You know what it means to be a son? Eh? You know what it means? I am now a son. What does it mean? A son is the person that has every right to make use of whatever the father has, whether he told the father or not. Praise God. If I see any matter, I can have, I have the right to say this matter, this is how you must be. I don't need to go and say, oh, Father, will this be like this? Oh, God, hey, well, I'm praying, you know, God, where are you now? Let this be. No, you are disturbing God. Allow God to do other things. You are God. Tell your neighbor you are God. Oh, my God, I don't know. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Is there anybody hearing me? Stop worrying God and troubling God. Go straight away and tell the situation, the position, the condition, what you want. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Look at my daughter. My daughter, please come, 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 come. Uh, you are the latest miracle. I have to use you and illustrate to the people of God. Quickly, quickly, don't waste my time. Come quick, come faster. Look at this, my daughter. When she come here on Wednesday, nobody will believe that she will leave the following day. Look at it. When this, my daughter came here on Wednesday, if you see her on Wednesday, you will never believe she may be alive the following day. Through or first? Through some. But when I look at her, I said, this thing that I'm seeing now, as far as I'm concerned, I know you have tried medicine, you have gone to a hospital, and you have done tests, and the nothing is happening, the thing is getting worse. Listen to me, I give you three days, this thing will disappear. Maybe, maybe look at it, look at the thing. That was the attack they gave to her. 
they want to kill her but they have made mistake because i know my position i know the victory god has given to me hello somebody clap their hand for jesus i know the position i occupy in christ jesus and i told her i said right now that you are here you don't have to go anywhere sit down from now to evening this your eyes that you cannot see with will open before you left here did your eyes open or not you open that is the position you have if you like fold your hand allow devil to ride you eh sister if you like, fold your hand and say, eh, I'm afraid of Satan with this. Eh, I don't want to be. Who, who the hell is Satan? Who the hell is the demon? Who wants to make that noise? It's just that the grace will carry and the anointing will carry. It's not anointing to make mouth. The faith, what God has done in our life, is not something to, you know, begin to proud of, to come and be, become pride or whatever. If it is, I will enter national stadium. I will stand there and prove to the world, stop the sword from moving, send it back, and command the rain to fall, so that there will no power pass power. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, when we are talking about what Jesus, you see, in the kingdom of God, that's what is called hierarchies. The, what is called ministry angels, they have different angels. They have the, the angels, they have archangels, and they have cherubims and the seraphims. They have different hierarchies. Every one of the angels, they have their level of power. That was why when Satan committed havoc, when devil wanted to overtake God and take over heaven, he said, I want to raise my seat so that I will be equal with God. The devil now wanted to overthrow God. And God said, what is this nonsense? What is this? You cannot be here to drag my throne with me. I am the one that created you. How can you come and you want to overthrow me that created you? Do you know there are things I've not shown you? Praise God. You know, in the things of the Spirit, there are things God has shown, and there are things God has not shown. That's what the Bible says. Whatever is revealed, is revealed for your own consumption. What about the things that are not revealed? They are kept for God. Praise God. And you know what happened? All the angels that begin to fought with the devil, many of them were conquered by the devil. Unto the highest hierarchy, God sent an archangel. He said, go and deal with him. He's dealing with small, small angels. And he think he has arrived. The archangel, oh yeah, go. And the archangel met with the devil and he said, the Lord rebuke you. Only a word. Praise God. I said, praise God. When I saw her first, the day she came back, when they said, this, this, I'm not talking about last year, this week. That was three days ago. Eh? When I saw the face, I said, this face, whether you like it or not, I said, you must be healed from now to three days' time. Are you healed or not? Yeah. Are you happy now or not? I'm happy. Go back to your seat. That is the position I'm talking about. See, you have right to become a multi-millionaire. Hey, I say you become a multi-millionaire. By fire, by force, you become a billionaire. I got to a point in my life and I said to God, I will never ever in my life be broke. I am above to come and be struggling hey, well, when somebody will dash me or when I will get shishin. No. I say, God, if you are the owner of heaven and earth and I'm your servant, money will be coming to me to solve whatever is present need for now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I made it clear. I said, God, money will come to do what? To solve my present need. Because I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to do the otherwise. When it's necessary, when it's needful, when it is important, you take the action of a believer. Can you clap the hand for Jesus? So the problem we have today is that people don't know when to take the action. And when you don't know when to take the action, the devil will keep on riding you. It will ride you. It will frustrate you. This was why Jesus and the disciples, they were moving as they were going. They begin to, uh, Jesus, uh, what do you talk about this thing? Because of people to pay tight and people to pay uh, uh, the, the, their, 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 their tasks and things like that. They brought coin and they gave to him. Jesus took the coin and he lifted it up. He said, who is here? They say, Caesar. He said, yeah, give Caesar to Caesar and give God to God. They say, eh, Caesar to Caesar. For that, we are arresting all your disciples. <laughs> praise God. I said, praise God. 
you know, the scriptures, you have to go and bring them and balance them together to understand exactly what happened and what made something to happen. Praise God. Whether the one in the front, the one in the Old Testament or the one in the New Testament, anywhere they are, they are all the word of God. You can balance them up to bring out a point that Jesus is trying to make. Is somebody hearing me? Are, are you sure you're hearing me? Are you sure you're hearing me? He said, okay, they said, because, shall we, you talk, say, give Caesar to, eh? You say what? Give Caesar to Caesar. We are arresting all your disciples. They've not paid their tasks. And Jesus said, eh? <laughs> and I want to arrest my, all my what? My disciples, because they have not paid tasks. He said, give me a second. Let me prove to you I am the owner of the world. Give me a second. Let me prove to you that the whole universe, I have it in my palms. He said, Peter. Peter said, yes. He said, go to the water. Cast your hook there. There is a fish that is holding the money that we need to pay our tasks. Go straight away. You will get a fish from the mouth of the fish. Bring out the money. Come and pay your tasks. Pay the rest of us and keep the balance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because they want to disgrace him. Many people want to disgrace me and you. They want to put us to shame because we believe in Christ. But I have come to the level that nobody can disgrace me. I said, nobody can disgrace me. I said, nobody can disgrace me. If you try, you will see fire. Eh? This world is already in the air. And this beast is searching. Who will put head? Anybody that put head unnecessarily will be cut off. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Peter went straight away and caught the fish and brought the money. When the people saw, they were, ah, we thought this man is broke. We thought they don't have money to pay their tasks. Because we have calculated their money. Their money have run into several millions and billions. We are thinking there's no way. But they never knew that the God you have is the God that make a way in the wilderness. Is the God that make a way where there's no way. Is the God that got the whole world in his hand. And that is why a songwriter wrote a song and said, He got the whole world in his hand. He got the whole world. In his hands, he got the whole world. In his hands, he got the whole world. In his hands, you got the whole world. In your 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 hands, you got the whole world. You got the whole world in your hand. You got the whole world in your hand. He got the whole world in his 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 hand. He got the whole world. The whole world, he is a he got the whole world in your hand. Hey, here, 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 he got the whole world in his hands. And the devil will come and tell you stories, the devil will come to play games. The Bible says. Do not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. When you think there is danger, actually there is no danger. Praise God. When you think there is confusion, there is no confusion. When you think the storm has arose, there is no storm. Hello? The only thing you should always watch out for is inside of you. Are you comfortable in the inside? Are you protected in the inside? Are you safe in the inside? Do you have all the seal in the inside of you? If you have the seal, you are protected, you are kept, you are preserved, then tell yourself the truth. This thing, I must get there. I must make it. I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Eh? My God will make a way where there is no way. 
and I know my God will supply all my needs according to his what? His glory through Christ Jesus. According to all the riches and all the blessings he will supply. Amen. And so when your landlord is telling you, oh, get out of my house, tell your landlord, just give me some more time. I'm sorry, I'm going to get out of your house. And when you come out and go back into your very inner room, tell God I am moving today. God, I need the money. That's God. You are not taxing God. That's why the devil is operating. Tax God and tell God what you want. They wanted to disgrace themselves. They said, who, who, this money, do we pay tax? Do we pay tax? Jesus said, what is the person in the money? Let me see. They said, Caesar. They said, who, who is here? They said, Caesar. They give Caesar to Caesar. Eh? I'm not here to come and drag whether you are paying tax or not pay tax. Government tax. He said the money is for government. Give the money to the government. Praise God. Eh? But authority. I am the owner. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said authority, power. I am the owner. How did he prove it? He told them, he said, don't worry. He said my boys have not paid their tax. And they must pay. You need Caesar, right? He said, okay, fish. Wherever you are in the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the physical. You are underneath the earth. You are underneath the sea. You are a treasure that I have created. The days of trouble, the days of lack and want, the days of no way forward, I will use you to make a way. Do you know that as you are sitting down here, what you are going to be tomorrow, God has already prepared it for you. Eh? Somebody may be occupying your position and you don't know. But the day God starts, the person occupying your position will disappear by fire and you will possess your position. I said you possess your possession. You know, when they, 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 Obado Oko Burubunti Chiria, do you understand that language? He said the very uh, uh, grass copper that a bird kill is because the ear has blocked. Onyo Bobu Bunti Chiria, the person at the railway eh, that you see train kill is blocking of ear. When you carry something, block your two ears and you are the railway. I play, Ichaka, 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 Ichaka. The plane will be blowing hard. Pam, 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 pam. You will not hear because you already blocked your two ears and you are not a sea. So the devil is actually underneath my foot. Hello? Put your hand and say, The devil, say, The devil, the devil is underneath my foot. Whatever he likes, let him do. Victory is mine. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? So this is why every child of God must always be happy. Stand in the position that God has given to you. You are never a failure. You are a winner. Hello? I say you are never a failure, but you are what? A winner. Eh? I am a winner in the Lord Jesus. I am a winner oh, in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord Jesus. I am a winner, winner, winner. I am a winner, 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 winner. I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. I am a winner, 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 win
Put the hand together for Jesus. Hallelujah. So you have a special position in Christ Jesus. Hello. I said hello. You are not hearing me. I said hello. Your position will never be taken. 